are the Imperial Guard. For the greater good. Welcome to Zelda Zelda Gaming. My name's Lachlan Linton Keen, and welcome to the next instalment of A Tale of Four Kill Teams. Today, I'm joined by our longtime compatriot, Josh Christoph Zazaroff. Say hello. Hello. That's better. And uh, you're going to be bringing your Imperial Guard today. Yeah, the Astra Militarum. Very nice. And I will be returning to this battle point with my battle report. I will be returning to this battle report with my Adeptus Mechanicus. And today we are playing Sweep and Clear, which is a, a fun little scenario uh, where we have got table quarters and uh, some objective play as well. So essentially victory is determined uh, by a couple of factors. It's a pretty convoluted scenario, this, which makes for some cool strategic play. Uh, we get an auto win if one player is broken uh, in any turn, then the other player automatically wins but if we bro uh, both break in the same turn or if uh, neither of us are broken by the end of the game, there's a random game length on the classic turn 4, turn 5, turn 6 format, uh, then we use victory points determined by our four objectives. Each of those is worth three victory points and we also get one VP for each enemy model that we take out of action. So it should make for some pretty late, uh, pretty interesting late game play. I am starting in this quarter here, we've already rolled off and Josh, you're going to be over here. Yep, um, do you want to take us through your kill team, what kind of guys you got? Just a quick run through. So obviously I'm running guard, so that means I've got a mix of regular guardsmen and Tempestus Silence. Um, starting with the, temp the Tempestus, I've got my leader, an actual Tempesto, as well as three um, hotshot volley gunners. Nice. Um, yeah. Two regular guardsmen as flamers and two regular guardsmen as uh, plasma gunners and nice. one comms guardsman. Cool, awesome. So you got some sprinkling of special weapons in there, a bit of the kind of heavy dealing stuff as well as that they're D6 now aren't they flamers for yeah. D6 shots so that should be pretty neat in the uh, in the kind of urban combat that we've got going on here and uh, I've uh, added in an extra dude since our first game I'm running uh, an arc rifle as well as my um, arquebus and my plasma caliber and a sprinkling of radium carbines and a couple of uh, galvanic rifles as well so a nice adeptus mechanicus shooty kind of kill team and uh, yeah, I've really only got one combat dude like yourself, which is our leaders. Uh, so we're going to jump in and deploy the rest of our troops, and we'll get this battle report cracking. In the scouting phase, I picked plant traps, and Josh picked... Disarm. So uh, nothing happened, basically, uh, which is, I mean, it's all just a big, paper, like, six-side rock, paper, scissors, basically. Uh, and now we've jumped into deployment. I have uh, spread my forces a little bit, but kind of clustered around this central building. I've got a couple of snipey guys with my longer-range galvanic rifles and my arquebus topside. Uh, and a couple of little dudes down here with my leader, and some more in the bottom of the building. Uh, what about Josh? You've spread yourself pretty centrally. Yeah, I've got this sniping tower, but then these guys are going to have to push in, because there's no other place that they have cover. Yeah, awesome. Alright, well, uh, let's jump straight into the first turn. Alright, so first turn, let's roll initiative, 2d6. I'm on a 7. Oh, Josh, you've taken the initiative. Let's jump straight into your movement. Alright. So I've pushed these flamers up because they can advance without uh, losing the ability to shoot. These guys over here have pushed up to be in firing positions, and my sniper tower over here has all ready, ready to ring fire on the other team. Alright, so I've just readied my sniping platform as well as my guys in the lower section of this building, and I've run up on the right flank, uh, two of my guys advancing, but the radium carbine and the plasma caliber are both assault, so they'll get to shoot, and my leader has just ducked in behind this little panel here. And now let's move on to the shooting phase. So I'm going to open fire with my sniper as my first readied model and target Josh's sniper over here. I'm going to activate the passive comms ability, which gives me plus one to hit, as well as my sniper tactic level one, which gives me another plus one to hit. So uh, hitting on threes uh, with that plus two, but of course he's obscured, so minus one. So I'm hitting on twos with one shot with the arquebus. I'm going to use my get down tactic cool. to increase that penalty by one. Okay, sweet. So now I'm hitting on threes. And two, look at that, the get down made all the difference. I'm going to use a tactical reroll. So using my tactical reroll, and I get a one, which is fucking rerollable because of my uh, canticles oh, of the Omnissiah. Ah, oh, that's true. Brutal. So my sniper is going to target your sniper up there. Uh, so heavy four, so that's four attacks. You're not obscured, so we're hitting on three plus. Long However, range penalty? It is, it looks like it is long range. Yep. Um, let me just double check. What's the range on your hot uh, shot? It's Oh, that's well over 12, yeah. So, it's 4 plus. Cool, so 4 shots, 4 plus to hit. Yep, um, however, I'm going to make it 3 plus with my comms cool. specialty. Cool, nice, yep, we're using the exact same combinations. Yep. <laughs> cool, whoa, four sixes. far out. Yeah. Jesus, alright, he's very keen to hit, alright, right. 4 sixes. 
Okay, so now it's uh, strength four against toughness. So threes to wound. Threes to wound. And three wounds. Yep. Awesome. So I've got my four plus armor save. I can roll my saves all at once. And I've got, oh, ouch, only one save. So I've got two uh, injury rolls to deal with. So we're looking at one, two, three, flesh wound, four, five, six out of the game. Okay, so I've got one flesh wound. And now uh, that flesh wound modifies this roll to make it one, two flesh wound and three to six out of the game. And oh, the sniper is out of the game. <laughs> Opening fire with one of my rangers just here on this gentleman here coming through the window. Uh, I'm within rapid fire range and not within long range penalty, so I'm just hitting on fours after the obscured. And uh, let's have a look at what we got. Oh, that's two better, hits. a four and a six. So that's two hits, I'm strength six, you are toughness three. Correct. Yep, so I'm wounding on twos. Oh, a three and a six, so that's one normal wound, and uh, that second wound is on the six is resolved at negative one AP. So uh, you, one wound is at minus one, and one wound is at minus two. So what's your save normally? Uh, four. Four plus, okay, so one is unsavable and one you can save. Uh, so give that a shot. All right, so two wounds, let's see those injury rolls. All right, well, he's out of the game. Look at that. Very nice work, Skatari Ranger. All right, Joshy, who is up next for you? Opening fire with this dude, Josh? Yep. Cool, so he's got a hotshot las gun hitting on three plus normally. Hotshot volley gun. Oh, hotshot volley gun, sorry. So, uh, obscured and long range takes him to five plus. Take it away. Oh, oh, there we go. Still rolling well on those fives. And uh, you're looking at, uh, what's the strength of the volley gun? Four. Okay, cool, I'm toughness three. So you're looking at threes to wound. Very nice, two wounds. And I will take my two saves at four plus. Oh, we've got a one and a three. Two fails. God, it is murder on the battlefield today. So my first one, we're looking at uh, one, two, three for a flesh wound. Yes, that's the first flesh wound. And uh, now it's one, two for a flesh wound. Oh, another one's knocked out. My God, we are ripping each other apart. So down goes my first vanguard. All right, so Josh is out of readied units. My next readied unit can't see anything because I stuffed up my target priority, but I've got these two guys under here. So up first, we'll fire with my uh, arc rifle at this gentleman over here. I'm within rapid fire range and I'm not within long range penalty, but he's obscured. So we're just looking at uh, four plus to hit. And a five and a five, very nice. Arc rifle, strength six, AP minus one. What's your toughness, Josh? Three, awesome, so we got twos to wound. Uh, I've got a two and a five, so that's two wounds at minus one for you. So what's your save normally? Four plus? Awesome, so you've got a five plus save on those two. So first one. That's a fail. And second one. A save, all right, you got one wound on this guy, so one, two, three is a flesh wound. Flesh uh, wound. Very nice. And my last readied unit, the Vanguard here with the Radium Carbine, is going to attack this lovely gentleman again. He's now the only dude he can see. Uh, so we're also hitting on fours because he's obscured. And we've got one hit. What's that other one under there? A two and a three. So that's two misses. And strength three on toughness three. We're looking for fours to wound. And we get a six, which also means that... Uh, it's resolved at a damage of three. So if you don't save this wound, you'll take three wounds. Let's see how we go. And it's a fail, so he takes three wounds. That's awesome. Um, oh, and that's enough to knock him straight out, isn't it? All right, another kill for the Adeptus Mechanicus. And now we move into our unreadied units. Uh, and as I have the initiative or the greater advantage, I'll be firing first. So for up next, I'll fire with my Plasma Caliber. Now he has uh, advanced, but because he's a heavy, uh, he doesn't get the minus one penalty when shooting with assault weapons. Uh, so he is going to fire with just the normal... Uh, Plasma Caliber Profile, so we're looking at Strength 7 minus 3 AP, and we need 3s to hit, and we get a 1 and a 3, so that's 1 hit, Strength 7 on Toughness 3, awesome, we're looking at 2s to wound, that's a 4, that's 1 wound at AP minus 3, so that's uh, unsavable for a Guardsman, so that gentleman takes 1 wound, let's see that Flesh Wound Injury Roll. Oh, out of action, down coast, one of the flamers. Man, everyone is dropping like flies. Which one did you target? Uh, it was the one who was in range, the front flamer there. All right. All right, so I'm going to attack with this flamer. However, first I need to find out how many attacks I get before I split them. All right. Three. Three attacks, and how would you like to split them? Uh, two and one. Okay, awesome. So uh, and now that auto hits, doesn't it, the flamer? Correct. And strength four, I'm toughness three, so you're looking at threes to wound. Uh, do you want to do the two guys on my vanguard first? So two dice looking for threes. 
Oh, very nice. A six and a five, so that's two wounds on him. Oh, we'll, we'll resolve this one first. So I'm looking for four plus on my saves. I've got one. Now let's do that injury roll. Looking for a one, two, or a three. A two! Alright, so he takes a flesh wound, which we'll mark in a second. Let's jump onto the plasma guy. So you've got uh, one more dice from the flamer. A six, a big juicy wound, and I'm going for my four plus save again. And failed. Now for the flesh wound test. And a six straight out of action for the plasma caliber. Another casualty in the first turn. Alright, so that brings us to the end of that turn. We've all done our shooting, we just have to go into morale. Now, uh, none of us are broken, but we do have one unit on the battlefield with a flesh wound, which is my Skatari Vanguard, so I need to roll a uh, nerve test, so we'll give that a go. I'm looking for a one, two, or a three, and a three, so he has not shaken next turn. Fantastic. Uh, Josh, while we're here, let's jump into uh, initiative for the next turn. And... It goes to the Adeptus Mechanicus. Okay, cool, so I finished all of my movement. This little gentleman had to shimmy out a bit so he couldn't ready, but the rest of my dudes have readied, uh, including my uh, Vanguard over here, and my leader with his awesome power sword is gonna make a charge to jump up and around onto this dude, and to do that, he needs to get eight on his charge roll. Let's see how he goes. We have a four and a one, so he has failed and therefore won't be charging and is just going to remain stationary. Uh, so that is the end of my move. Josh, let's jump into yours. Right, so we pushed this group up here for a little bit of order fun. I moved the leader, sh leader up just to make sure he's in, uh, this group over here is in leadership range. And I readied the sniper tower, of course. Fantastic, let's jump into shooting. I am going to uh, attack with my flamer here using decisive shot, which allows me to attack immediately. All right, jump in. So how many shots are we looking at? So first things first, how many shots? A five. five. Man, you're good with those d6 rolls on the flamer. Uh, I okay, one? cool. Where's the other I've two? got two dice over here. Sorry. All right, so five. how are you going to split up those attacks amongst the two dudes just there? Well, they have to be within two inches of each other, so I'm going to do three and three. Okay, cool. So three on which one? Uh, so three on the closest one first. Cool, awesome. So it is... Strength four, toughness three, so you're looking at threes to wound. Yep. Ooh, that's good for Lockie. One wound. Yep. And uh, I'll go straight to my save, looking for a four plus. Ooh, knocked out the commander as well. Five plus save, all right. And now uh, the other two guys, the, the gentleman at the back. And, oh my god, that's brutal. <laughs> All right, so I've survived the decisive shot, and now it's on to our ready units. Yep. Uh, I have a ready dude here and a couple of ready dudes in there. And what ready guys do you have, Josh? Uh, just my sniper team. Just your sniper team. Okay, cool. All right, so my first ready unit is going to be a Skatari oh. Ranger. He is going to rapid fire straight down onto those plasma gunners before they get to shoot in the unreadied phase. I'm going to activate Protector Doctrina Imperative, as well as my comms ability, which means he is shooting on a zero plus, but he is in uh, he's obscured from being in cover so that means a one plus which of course is really a two plus because one is a natural fail so I'm rapid firing can I have one more dice Josh uh, and let's see what we got We're looking for twos we got a three and a four that's two hits and I'm strength six AP minus one so toughness three so twos to wounds uh, we got a four and a five, so that's two wounds at minus one. Josh, what are your saves? Four plus, so... Uh, for them, it's five plus. Five plus, so you're looking at sixes for these two. All right, so that's two fails. You want to do your first flesh wound? Yep. That's just a flesh wound. And the second one? And he's out of action, so that's one plasma gunner down, and it's up to your next readied shooter. Josh, uh, who's going to be firing for you? Uh, first, I'm going to start with my sniper here. Fantastic, and you're targeting... Uh, who shot just then? Who uh, this gentleman, sorry, we'll flip him over. Yep. And who are you targeting? Uh, I'm going to target him down here. Uh, the guy with the arc rifle? Uh, guess. This one? Yep, cool. So it's four, he's my sniper, so he re-rolls on ones. Cool, awesome. Um, plus comms, so that's hits on threes. Fantastic. That's taking into, um... Into consideration obscured already, yep. Yep, we're rolling four dice. Alright, three hits, very nice. Yep. And I'm toughness three, and you are strength four or strength three? Uh, strength four. For the cool. Doctor. So you're looking at threes to wound with a volley. Oh my god, that's brutal! All right, no wounds from that dude. All right, so my next readied fighter is this gentleman down here with the arc rifle. He's going to open fire into the remaining plasma gunner. I'm looking at threes to hit, but he is obscured, so that takes it to fours. And uh, we've got a two and a two, so no shots from me this turn. And on to Josh's, your next readied fighter is this gentleman. Yep. Awesome. And who's he targeting? Uh, this gentleman here. Cool. No problem. He's smack bang out there, waiting, waiting to be wrecked. Sorry.
Yeah, I think he's obscured. Yeah, just his foot. So fours, range, so that's five. What's your base shoot? Four plus? Three plus. Oh, three plus. Then. So hitting on fives? Yep. Let me just see if I can... Yeah, five. So and two, two hits. Two hits. Very nice. And is that another uh, volley gun? Yep. So strength four, toughness three, looking at threes to wound. And one wound, and I've got my four plus save at AP neutral. Uh, no, AP minus two. Oh, AP minus one, that one is cocked like crazy. So, oh, that means I'm rolling uh, six plus, six plus. And a three, so he takes a wound. Let's do that injury roll, looking for a one, two, or a three, and he takes a flesh wound. Chuck down a little red guy. Oh, who was that at? Uh, sorry, this guy. This guy, yeah, cool, awesome. All right, so my next ready model is this Vanguard here with the Radium Carbine. He's Assault 3, and he's hitting on fours because your Plasma Gunner over there is obscured. Uh, so we're looking for fours, and we've got, ooh, two sixes and a one. Get rid of that one. And Strength 3 on Toughness 3 is fours to wounds. And two twos, no wounds from me. Uh, do you have any more readied model Joshes? That was not English. Do you have any more readied models, Josh? Skyfire, didn't he? Uh, yes, he did. Yeah. And I think my only remaining readied model is this gentleman here who doesn't have any targets. So all of our ready units have now fired and we're moving into our normal shooting units. Uh, I've only got one who didn't ready, which is this guy up here with his galvanic rifle. He's within 12 inches of this plasma gunner down here. So I'm going to make my third attempt to try and kill this guy this turn. So he's rapid firing. He'd normally hit on a three plus, but he's obscured. So that's a four plus. And Josh, you're playing... Get down. It's a tactic that will give you an additional one because uh, minus one to hit. Awesome, so I'm rolling at fives to hit. And we've got two twos again for the third time this turn. That plasma gunner does not want to die. All right, who's up next for you, Josh? All right, this guy. Um, have you got any other shooting models? Uh, I do not. Everybody has shot. This just gentleman here is going to fire at this gentleman. Oh, actually, this gentleman here. Copy this that. Models models. So plasma gun rapid firing. Uh, what are you hitting on? I'm hitting on... Four plus. Okay, which is five plus because he's obscured. Yep. Awesome. And rapid firing, so that's two shots. Give it a go. Very nice. Two fives and strength seven. Strength seven. So, okay, so twos to wound. Twos to wound. Very nice. That's two wounds. And that is AP what? Minus uh, three? AP correct. Minus, so that's two unsavable wounds. So now, so my first injury roll. And he passes, so that's just a flesh wound. Now my second injury roll, and I need a one or a two this time. A four, so he is out of action. And there goes my, was it this gentleman? Correct. Fantastic. All right, and anyone else for you to shoot this turn, Josh? I think you might be done. I think we're both done. Fantastic. All right, so into the morale phase. Uh, Josh, do you have any flesh wounds? No. Okay, cool. I've got two on my Ranger up here and my Vanguard down here. Now, I've lost four units, so I'm taking these tests at plus four. This guy, luckily, is within two inches of a friendly, so he's taking it at plus three. So D6 plus three is five. That's awesome. That's under his leadership, so he is not shaken. And this gentleman here, he is not within three inches of a friendly model, so he's taking it at plus four. Two plus four is six. Jesus, I'm riding the wave. Both of my guys are not shaken. At the end of turn three, I've taken four casualties and I've got two flesh wounds, so I might break here and this could be the end of the game. I need to roll 2d6 and get less than eight. Sorry, I was six. All right, and an eight, that is a fail. So the Imperial Guard have broken the Adeptus Mechanicus and reigned victorious. Very nice, Josh. How do you feel about your victory? Satisfied. Satisfied? Awesome. Let's go into the post game. A uh, victory for the Imperial Guard. Good game, dudes. Cheers, mate. Very nice. Uh, what was kind of the biggest play for you and who was your most valuable player? Uh, most valuable player has to be this little plasma guardsman here. Yes. He just would oh not go down. <laughs> so many attacks. Yeah, he was like dodging off. and then just tanking them. Yeah, he was um, he was a, an absolute champion. I think I think my biggest play was also my biggest value, pushing up with that flamer and he just just dump all of those rolls. Yeah. Nothing hit. Yeah, that was five that shots. Didn't quite nail it. Yeah, when you, you came up through the corridor, and I was like, "Man, I'm gonna have to start counter punching before you unload on me." And and I managed to kind of uh, get get the upper hand on that and, and kill a few of those guys. But yeah. uh, uh, for me, I think my biggest play would have been uh, I was pushing up this right flank and coming in and unloading on you with a couple of guys and and queuing up uh, some great advance rolls along with my plasma caliber and my radium carbine, wrecking one of your flamers. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it didn't quite do enough damage. Um, my the, the biggest play negatively that affected me was definitely my sniper at the beginning in the first turn, losing him straight away. You know, I, I needed a, a two to hit the first time and I rolled a one, and then on the reroll I needed a two to hit and I rolled another one or something. It was oh, a two and a one. 
it was, yeah, so losing him up up front and not having his kind of suppressive firepower is definitely a big play. Yeah, that, that flamer taking out one of your um, Skitari guys at, the, at that corner really nuded that flank, which I'm very glad for, because otherwise yeah. I would have just been crushed between two pincers. Yeah, for sure. That was definitely the plan, to kind of bring you in the center and crunch you, but uh, losing kind of a big player on either side definitely took me down. I think, uh, obviously, breaking was what, what brought us in the end there, and that's the thing that's really tricky, is like, it's not just the dudes that die, it also is your flesh wound, so there's a yeah. totally legitimate tacting in hitting all of the enemy units just a little bit to give enough flesh wounds and spread toward that breakpoint, which I completely forgot about. I thought it was casualties only. Um, so that certainly, certainly ended the game, but if, if I'd passed that roll, it would have been really cool to see where it was going, because I you know, was kind of planning on ambushing this flamer guy and hiding all my other guys just to try and get one safe kill without taking any casualties and break Josh, but I think you were planning on slipping well, me back. <laughs> the flamer there was going to get the decisive shot. And yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it would have been really... interesting as to who won. Yeah, exactly. It would have been really interesting to see that play out, but it's not to be, and the Imperial Guard have secured uh, some pretty sweet resources. Let's have a look at the mission. So, campaign-wise, uh, I have lost two territory from my resources pool, which sinks me further down the player's pool, and uh, Josh's victory earns him... Not not losing two territory, which is always good as well. Uh, but we've got a bit of experience shared around. I, I got a few of my kind of specials off and that sort of thing, so it'll be interesting to go forward and, and see if any of our dudes level up. I think this is my second game now, so I should be on the cusp of a couple of level ups, so it should be good. Thank you so much for joining us in this next iteration of A Tale of Four Kill Teams. Thank you so much for joining us, Josh. Cheers, man. I hope you had a good time, and I hope you guys had a good time as well. We've got a whole lot more Kill Team content on the horizon as we explore all the goodness that is in the wonderful supplement that is Kill Team. And uh, yeah, we've got some uh, some more games with Jacko and Adam as well, and even some team stuff in the future. So definitely stick around, and uh, all the links to the other videos are in the description. And we will see you next time on Zorba Zorb Gaming. Thanks, guys.